Hello my dear friends and welcome to a new video from Mad Max Deals and Reviews. Today I want to speak about the Ace Beam E10. Really just a handful of light and a real pocket rocket. But before I go into the technical details I want to say thank you to Sven Stevich for giving me this unit as a loaner. Unfortunately I have to pass it to the next reviewer but I think I will get one of the other colors for myself. And while the intro is running, roll down a little bit, there is the link to Sven's uh, shop and there's also a link to my deals community where you can save a lot of money and some other links how to support me. So see you soon. Okay, let's look into the flashlight or maybe we start it with the box. Because in the back side there is a lot of numbers. And that's because you can buy the E10 in three versions. Three colors, not the body that's black all the time. There is a green version which has a turbo of 1050 lumens and 675 meters of throw. The white version has 760 lumens and 562 meters of throw and this red is rated for 250 lumens and 385 meters of throw and i will show you my measurements later so that's better than what they claim then when i have the box in my hand I can open it so you will get a user manual two spare o-rings and micro usb charging cable which is 20 centimeters long so quite short and warning, uh, which is an information on how to handle lithium ion batteries. That's not bad at all. A warranty card and some protective stickers for the lens and the battery. As you might have noticed, the flashlight is very small. This is a 26650 battery. Not a big difference. And Ace Beam used a 26350, which is half the size. And Ace Beam even included a micro USB port here and that's why I do not mind the short cable in that case because you just can hang it on the cable on your wall plug. So sometimes you have the short cables with the big flashlights and then you really have a problem when your charger is somewhere not near to the ground. But here just hang it on the wall that's totally fine. And we have a big nice spring on the end of this tail cap which is one part that uh, it's not possible to put the back off. Uh, and there is another spring here on the driver that gives some travel and allows, which I see as a plus, you can use third party 26650 batteries even with the flat top and quite short in comparison. You can use that because it makes contact it works fine so cool that's always a plus for me being uh, not bound to one size of a battery or to one kind of a battery yeah put this in you might have seen or i show you now there is a square cut thread uh, on the on the battery tube and it's very very well looped as i or maybe you also know from the ace beam flashlights all the time you get greasy fingers and a lot at the beginning lots of fingerprints all over the flashlight on the serious end you have seen there comes red light out of it um, and the very nice thing is they use a TIR a total internal reflection lens and I will show you some uh, close-up pictures when I made I disassemble it and wanted to know how that works and this is a really, really high quality piece of an optics. So I really like that. And hopefully in the future we will see more flashlights from Ace Beam using that technology. And hopefully other manufacturers go to these lenses. So that's really nice. Because we have claimed 250 lumens of red light here. And 
What was the number? I can't tell it by mind. Yeah, 385 meters of throw in red. Another red flashlight is this Ode Pro KL41. Many hunters have that. Back switch, big reflector, red light, 210 lumens. So it's nearly the same amount of light, a little bit less. Or if you use, I have made the uh, Brinite T28 review, which has the plus is this is the green, the red, and the white in one. So maybe if you stack all three E10s, no, just kidding. But you see that that's a lot less. That's 115 lumens of red when it's focused, when it's in zoom, uh, in beam, zoomed in into the beam mode. So that's it's the comparable light output. Then it's just 115 lumens of red, and that's a lot bigger. So the size is size does matter sometimes. Uh, what else? Is beam major brand the, there is no flaws in the machining no no things no bad anodization all the color the letters are really well done here in the tail cap you see see some that's really great so let's look at the user interface when you short click is on low you see there is just this dot Hold it for medium high, low, medium high, toggles really in a nice speed. From off you can click and hold. Then there is <laughs> you cannot see, I cannot see it here. There is a one lumen moonlight. The fun thing is you in the dark you see that one lumen spot and five to ten meters. That's really cool. And nice when you are in, in moon. Just click and hold and you're back to normal operation. A double click brings the turbo. Hold it so it goes back to the regular operation. Triple click gives a strobe. Hold it so it goes back to normal operation. And when it's off and you click and hold and stay on the button, there's the moonlight, then there is five flashes, and then it's off. Hit the electronic lock. Click and hold again. There will be some flashes. It's three flashes at five seconds. Sorry for that. And what I also like, you can have, switch it off, one turn, and then there's a mechanical lockout also. So that's really cool. What's a minus for myself the button is made from rubber and when you have other ace beams they do make great great feeling metal switches that would be really nice to see it on the small flashlight as well and there is no uh, no hole for a lanyard and there is no holster included so it really has to stay in the pocket and no clip so it's really just just a light this would be some nice accessories to see them in the future and i have another size comparison for you do you remember the dq cheese the third and it's nearly the same size if you have one of those and this contains a full size 26 650 just for reference and i did play a little bit 26, 26, 350 to the side. A longer tube for a 26, 650. So you can hold it really nice in the hand. Does, doesn't look bad in my opinion. So Ace Beam, sell a long, sell a long tube too. That would be nice. Because if you have big hands like myself, if you hold the flashlight and want to operate it with the thumb, with the tip of the thumb, 
you have just one or two fingers here to hold it. Uh, when I was outside and playing with it, I very often used it that way that I operated with my index finger, which works quite nice. So I had it in a nice grip here on the head or for the throw things, if you have it over the head, whap, just also with the index, use it that way. It also works very, very nice. So the length is no problem when you have it like this. But if, with, if you have big hands and you want to do this regular classical grip, then it's a little bit short. But overall, it's a great flashlight. It's a small, great flashlight due to the size, due to the optics. I really like the beam shape. So I'm a big fan of TIR. Uh, quality is as expected, top notch. Yeah, let's look into the numbers I take in. For Firefly, I measured 0.002 amps. So I assumed the one lumen is okay. On low I measured 3 lumens, which is also a little bit unsecure, but it was 0 0.026 amps. On mid I had 47 lumens instead of 50 claimed. In high it was 114 instead of 110. So there we have already more lumens than claimed. And on turbo I measured 290 lumens instead of the 250 claimed, which is 16% more at 2.45 amps. For the throw, I measured 58.5 kilo candelas, which is 25% more than the claimed 37 kilo candela. My numbers calculate up to 484 meters of throw. And here is the amazing runtime from high. It started with 114 lumens, took 40 minutes to fall down to 103 lumens, which was held to a total time of 3 hours and 20 minutes. And then it did uh, fall very fast and after 3 hours and 22 minutes the flashlight switched itself off and the cell had 3.2 volts left. And here is the turbo runtime. Start was 290 lumens for 3 minutes, then it uh, reached 250, then a sharp drop to 160, which was held for a total of 1 hour and 45 minutes, then it dropped to 103 for a few minutes, and after a total of 1 hour and 48 minutes it switched off, it had 3.15 volts left in the cell and the maximum temperature while the turbo runtime was 48 degrees and on high it never reached more than 36 degrees celsius okay the last thing i have to do is the second last thing is have thank you for watching my video we will now go into my garden and hopefully at the end you liked my video enough to click the like button that helps me a lot uh, and maybe you even try and subscribe to my channel because 90% of my viewers are not subscribers so please click the subscribe button that helps me a lot so let's go into the darkness welcome to my garden as a reference lumitop fw3a with 1000 lumens, triple, triple Cree LEDs. So it's a really nice floody beam shape. And if you're not familiar with my garden, down there, this fence that's 35 meters, this big tree, the trunk is 24, 25 meters from the camera. And this small tree here, that's 12 meters from the camera point. So just so you can orientate. At first, Ace Beams E10, I start in moon mode, which is, yeah, you can see in front of your feet. I'd say today, tonight it's quite bright because it's full moon 
and I can see the red point in front of me, uh, maybe five meters. That's the low, so you can see the point too. And if I'm going on the bright trunk from my tree, you, I can see it on the camera screen, so I'm quite sure it will be in the video. Low is enough to have the spot down there to the 35 meters easily. So I would see eyes reflecting. I had some kind of uh, weasel crawling there five minutes before. Let's jump to medium. And in medium the spill is good enough so I can see the whole way down there, going up the tree, down again. Of course no problem to illuminate the small tree here. Going to high, and on, and on high I can see the red spill in my whole garden. It's a very even distribution. And if we switch to turbo, there's even more light in the spill. Really nice. I, I like these optics. That's a very cool way. And let's compare this with the regular uh, reflector. This is the Ode Pro with 215 lumens, I think, and the reflector. So there is the hotspot and a little bit of spill. I go into the tree so you can see the beam shape. I go the OD Pro to the left and on the right I bring the Ace Beam E10 on turbo. That's the Ace Beam, that's the OD Pro. So reflector, this is optics, reflector, optics again, waiting up this car to pass down there on the fence, reflect the light, and that's the optic, whoopsie, reflector and optic again. And the third principle is the zoom. Quite sure you remember, I showed the Abrinite PT28, which has red, white and green, and it's a zoomy, so we have 180 lumens zoomed out. That's reducing to 110, 120. I have the correct numbers down there. So we have this spot when it's zoomed in. And when I show you the spot on the fence, of course, there's lots of light concentrated there, but there's not a, not a lot of spill. Now, this is the ace beam in high. quite the same brightness on my fence, but with the ace beam I see everything in between. That's the ace beam on turbo. Brinight ace beam. So I'm really a fan of this new way of the new optics. Good, switch off the Brinight. Let's leave the ace beam to the end. I hope you liked my video. I hope you could have a small idea how this flashlight performs. And if you like my work, please consider subscribing, consider liking, consider having a look and using my links. See you next time. Bye bye.